Morning, everyone. Yep. <clears throat> 2023 deer hunting opener. As I sit in my garage again, waiting for everybody to get up. Cheers to my coffee cup. Will that have an effect on us? I have no idea. Again, I'm on the other side of the bill. I love to shoot stuff, but you know what? I love to see my kids shoot stuff. <clears throat> and that's what I'm after today. I want to see everybody be successful. Put a little meat in the freezer. See what happens. Have a few cocktails with my friends. So, let's do this. The start of 2023. Fam. <laughs> Fam's going out. <laughs> Opening morning. <laughs> nope. Father and his kids. There's the lay of the land. I'm breathing. And I just dropped off my daughter. My two boys are down there. Sorry about the video quality, but it's uh, it's all about teaching now, folks. I wish everyone the best of luck, especially my kids. Yeah, that's gonna be a good day. says it's decent so I'm just hanging out doing what I do shooting videos can't wait to see it it's been a while since Quinn shot one you'll probably see some footage right after this Abby's cold but she's all hot pink over there with her new suit so and the turkeys are abundant out here so all right, a little more before we get down and retrieve some animals, see what we shot, so good morning. I knew it would be. I heard him come in through there. He was coming in quick. And about the time I got my gun up, I was pulling my hood down. He was sticking his head right through there. And I can tell you, I just pulled up my scope. Didn't even count the points, but by the look of that neck, I was intimidated, so I just shot. Yeah, I think so, too. Cody, Cody's like, oh, I don't know, when it's hanging, go see it. What? You want to come see him? Oh, she's scared of deer? Yeah, she should be. Oh. Do you want to come or do you want to see him when he's at the garage? <laughs> what do you think of him? What do you think? Did Dad do good? Yeah, that's all you got? Okay. Let's bring him home. Look, I'm a turkey wrangler. All right. <clears throat> 10 o'clock, opening morning. Another update. Mike Bolts just uh, let one rip. And he thinks it's a six, and he thinks it's down. So you might see some footage right now. Okay, so like I said, there's going to be some footage. Got Mike Bowles over here. He was up here where his dad should have had his butt. So what? Give, give us start from where you seen him. What happened? 
Was he out in the swamp or he on the wood line? He came from the wood line and then crossed across the swamp there. Okay. And then he kind of made his way to the trail here. And then he was quartering off towards the dim trees and I shot at him. You couldn't get him when he was on the trail? Uh, not really. Too, was, too close? Yeah, it's too close. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go over and look for blood. <laughs> okay. So, for all of us out here, we're going to take a little step back because we're going to learn a little bit. We don't we don't know yet. But we'll figure it out. It's like a little game of sleuth. But you can see right here there's the stand. All right? But, and he's pretty sure he shot here. And I'll tell you, there's, there's a good ending to this story. He did a good job of watching. But I think we're off. We're off our trail a little bit. He could have been further out a little bit, further in. So, important lesson. When you shoot at a deer, mark it with a tree. How close was it to a tree? How close was it out here? How close was it to that tree? Just a general idea. Mike didn't do anything wrong yet. Unless we get over there and we touch the thing and it gets up and runs. So, uh, let me bring you over here. And I'm pretty good. Mostly because I'm fucking anxious. I'm going to bleep that out. But, I'm always looking ahead. Look at that. Nothing but what bitty. We'll uh, continue this in a bit. Oh, there it is. Here's the... We got a little blood right here. Where it came out. And I am absolutely perplexed. I cannot find another stitch of blood from where he shot it over there. Just happened to look up and see him. So, I don't know. Lessons learned. They don't have to bleed like a rock star every time. So, once we get this thing gutted, we should... Uh, the rest of the story will be there. Still a dead deer. When's the last time you shot a deer, Mike? Four or five years ago. Okay. So are we walking up on the right side of this deer right now? No. Which side should we be on? The back side. Why? So if he gets up and runs, he's running away from us. Actually, if you get up to him and he decides to kick, one of those hoofs will rip your little gut wide open and then we'll have two gut shots. Deer, he's not gut shot. He died. All right, so let's uh, get up here, Mike. Get up here a little closer. Get up there on your buck a little bit. So you're going to go up there from the back side. Yep, and what is the first thing you're going to do? Slit his throat. Nope. Poke him with the gun. Take your gun and poke his eyeball. If he blinks, we better be ready. <laughs> Nice job. All right, make sure your gun's on safety. Double check, get down there, grab them horns and pick it up. There you go. Yeah, look at that. Feels good to be on the board, huh? There you go, me out of breath again. You just see them go around the corner. Some days, it's like fishing. House is up there. You walk way the hell back here. Because you think it's better. And the fish are actually biting on the shoreline. Which could be up here. 
Don't care. Family's out here. Two in the bag. You've seen it. Evening hunt. Opening weekend. Let's do this. Day one. First evening set. It's all good. A couple deer down. You've seen already. So, see what tonight brings. Good barrage yesterday morning of shots, but it tailed off awfully quick. And hardly any shots this morning, as, as you can hear them in the background. But got two guys with tags, <clears throat> tags filled. And we're still out here. So we got some deer to cut this afternoon. And I got a week off, so. It's still early. I'd like to see Cody and Cody and Abby get one would be nice, so stay tuned. All right, <clears throat> morning of day two. Cody uh Cody put the stink on one. All right, give me the rundown. So there's the stand of where I'm just gonna flip around. There's the mighty cadet. So, so I heard it coming through the woods right out in front of me here, and I pulled and up on it. How many? How many had you seen prior to that? I saw four prior to that. I saw two does that came over here on my right, mm -hmm. and. As soon as they broke into that trail, they blew at me and their tails went up and both of them went sprinting down the, the trail. Over here. No, see there's the, the incoming trail. We call this, this is the acorn stand, so. And then about an hour later, I had two more does that came in over here and wind's pushing this way, so I think they picked up on my scent that way and they blew at me too and they turned around and also went back south and i would say there was maybe about 30 minutes left before i was thinking about getting down <laughs> and so i was just kind of sitting at the edge of my seat and this guy came in directly north of me here and started making its way through all this thick brush and you see this big tree right here that's sticking up it mm -hmm. just broke the left of that one. When I'm sitting in my stand, this, this bigger oak here actually covers that tree a little bit. But I saw its head poke out this side. I saw the horns on it. And so I got ready, pulled up, and I don't know if I made a little bit of a noise or what, but he instantly had his eyes this way, and he didn't like whatever it was that I did. And so he stuck his head down, and he 180 around and started slinking back off into the woods. And there just so happens to be on the right side of this tree from my stand a little bit of opening a brush and I squeezed off a shot and didn't skip a beat just kept walking so I thought that was a bad shot I missed I was in my head and so I gave it about 20 minutes and I got down and gave it my due diligence to look for blood and I will and we'll find out what happens next. Here we go. This is where they like to hang out. We're almost there. Which is another reason why I haven't walked up. Yeah. Here. First blood there. Good marking. We haven't been up on it yet. Started to fill up here. You can see some. You can see some blood. And then he got to right here. And we will tell you this, it's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. We haven't been up on it yet. We gave it a proper amount of time, so we're going to go take a peek. There it is. We're going to get up here and get a better look. There it is. Got the forky. Mission accomplished.